Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a 20 minute seated kettlebell workout. We've got 10 exercises and two rounds. We're going to be doing 30 seconds of work followed by 30 seconds of rest. I'm gonna be using a 16 kilogram kettlebell but make sure to use whatever weight you feel comfortable with. So grab your kettlebell and let's get going. So first up, we've got a strict press. That means we're going to have the kettlebell in our right hand in the clean position. We're going to push the kettlebell up towards the sky, straighten out the arm at the top, slowly lower back down. And the really important thing here is that you keep your palm towards the center line of your body when it's in the clean position, and this stops the kettlebell from pulling your shoulder away. So, let's go, we've got 30 seconds of work. Push the kettlebell up, and then slowly lower back down. We're gonna do this with control, Keep the core engaged, slowly lower back down. Like I said, the really important thing here is to keep the palm towards the midline of the body. And this stops your hand from coming away to the right with the kettlebell weight, and that puts your shoulder in a compromised position. So now, let's take a 30 second rest. Next up, we've got the same on the left side. So again, we're going to keep the palm towards the center line of the body, and then we're going to push up towards the sky. Strong core, and then we're going to slowly lower back down. So, got about 10 more seconds of rest. So, I'm just going to take my watch off. Damage that. Okay, let's bring the kettlebell up onto the left arm. Okay, now, slowly push up, engage your core. Lower back down. This is called a strict press because we're not using any momentum to drive that up. So we're putting a lot of focus on the shoulder here. 10 more seconds. Push up. Slowly lower back down. Let's do one more. And take a rest. We've got a 30 second rest. Next up, we're going to be doing bicep curls. So you can hold the kettlebell by its horns at the side, and then we're just going to flex at the elbows, squeeze the biceps at the top, and then slowly lower back down. The slower you can lower the kettlebell back down, the better. That eccentric phase of the exercise is really important for muscle growth. So, with the kettlebell at the horns, we're gonna pull it up, Squeeze the biceps at the top, and then slowly lower back down. Again, we're not using any momentum here. We're keeping our core engaged. And a slow lowering down of the weight. Okay, last rep, and this time, really slowly lower it back down. Take a rest. Next up, we're going to be doing a tricep extension, so overhead extension. We're going to be holding the kettlebell above the head by its horns with the bell facing behind the body. And then we slowly lower it down and then drive it back up towards the sky. About five seconds. So, kettlebell's above. And then we're going to lower it down and then we extend at the elbows to bring it back up overhead. About 10 more seconds. One more. And take a rest. Okay, next up, we've got hip to hip halo. So let's start with the kettlebell to on our left hip. We're gonna be holding it by the horns with the bell facing upwards. We bring it to the right side of the body. It goes around the head, and then we bring it down to the right hip. We then go back the opposite way. It's all about keeping your core engaged. A few seconds and then we'll start. Okay, let's go. Keep the core engaged. Bring the kettlebell around the head and then to the right hip. 
So we're back the opposite way now. It's a great exercise for your obliques, your core, and your arms. Try and do it slowly with control. About five more seconds. Let's do one more. Okay, let's take a rest. 30 second rest. Grab a sip of water if you need. Next up, we're doing upright row. So, we're gonna be holding the kettlebell by the top of its horns, both hands on it. We then bring it up, elbows go up, and then we slowly lower back down. So we've got about five more seconds of rest. Let's go, upright row. We only bring it up about this high, so just so that the bell is in front of your chest. And then slowly lower back down. Again, keep your core engaged. Get a couple more reps out. Okay, one more. Okay, take a rest. Nice. Next up, we're doing some wood chops. So we'll start by going left to right. We're going to be holding the kettlebell by its horns, and it's going to be to our left. We want a twist in the spine here. We're going to engage our core and we bring it up and above the right shoulder, twisting the spine to the right. So it's about twisting your spine but keeping your core engaged here. So we start with it on the left, bring it up above the right shoulder and then back down to the left. Make sure you've got your core engaged here, it's really important. So just like we were, would be chopping wood. It's a great core exercise, this one. And it is challenging. Make sure you keep your core engaged. 30 second rest. Grab a sip of water. Next up, we're gonna do the same on the other side. So we start on the right side and we go up and over the left shoulder. Okay, 10 more seconds of rest. Shake it out. Okay, grab your kettlebell. So, right side, gonna bring it up over the left shoulder, core's engaged, and then back to the right. About 10 more seconds, keep going. Okay, one more rep. Let's get one more out. And take a rest. Great job. We've got front raise next. A couple different options of how to hold the kettlebell, either by its horns, or if you've got a smaller one like I have here, you can actually hold it by the bell there. And we're gonna keep our arms straight, so we're gonna raise it up in front of us and then slowly lower back down. Keeping the arms straight. Let's go, 30 seconds. Tough exercise, this one. Really good for the shoulders. is working the front delts. We've got 10 seconds. One more. Take a rest. Oh, okay, so we're gonna combine a couple of the exercises now for the 10th exercise. So we're going to do a bicep curl and then we're going to press kettlebell above the head. So we've got a mixture of biceps and shoulders being worked here. It's a really good exercise, this one. You can either hold the kettlebell by the main bell part or by the horns, whichever feels most comfortable for you. So, core engaged. We flex the elbows, bring the kettlebell up. 
and then we push it above the head. So, keeping the core engaged the entire time. Got 10 more seconds. Okay, take a rest. If you're halfway through the workout, take a sip of water if you need. You can pause the video if you need a little bit of extra rest. If you're feeling strong today, then you can go an extra five, 10 seconds past the buzzer for each exercise. And if you're coming back to the video more and more, that's how you get stronger. You just extend each period that you're exercising for by a little bit, remove some of the rest. It gets harder, but you will get stronger. So, kettlebells on the right, in the right hand. We've got a strict press on the right side. We're now repeating those 10 exercises. <sighs> 15 seconds to go. Remember to keep the palm towards the midline of the body here. Keeps the shoulder safe. Take a rest. 30 second rest. Next up, we're going to be doing the same on the left side. So again, I know I keep saying it, but just to emphasize, keeping that palm in the center line of the body is what's going to keep your shoulder in a really healthy position. The last thing you want is for the kettlebell to be pulling your hand away from your shoulder. That's how we can get injuries doing this specific exercise. So drive the kettlebell up, slowly lower back down. Keep the core engaged. Five more seconds. Let's go, let's do one more rep. And lower back down, take a rest, 30 second rest. Oh, next up we're doing our bicep curls again. So just to re-emphasize, really good to squeeze the biceps at the top and then really focus on the eccentric phase. So the lowering down part, we can do that really slowly. That's how we encourage muscle hypertrophy. That's how we build our muscles. So especially on the last rep, the lowering phase, let's do that as slowly as possible. Okay, let's go, 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Five more seconds, so last rep now. And then a really slow lowering down. Slowly lower, lower, keep going, stay with me. And rest. Okay. So, next up we've got tricep extensions. I've done some of this in a sort of superset style in that we're doing sort of opposite sides. So first off we were doing the bicep curl there, next up we're doing tricep extension. So it's nice to pair up biceps and triceps straight after each other. Let's get a nice equal balance. So again, we lower the kettlebell behind the head and then we drive it back up towards the sky. Few more seconds, let's do one more rep. Okay, take a rest. Oh, next up was the hip to hip halo. Oh, I'm starting to feel it now. So let's start on the left side, keep the core engaged, finish up on the right hip, and then we go back the opposite way again. Got 10 more seconds of, of uh, rest. Grab a sip of water if you need. Make sure you stay hydrated. Okay, so, a few more seconds. Oh, the bird's supposed to be facing up. Okay, there we go. 
just to reiterate, easy mistake to make like I just did. It's better to have the bell of the kettlebell up so it's sort of upside down in your hands for this one. It means that when we've got it behind our head here, the kettlebell's the proper way up. It's just a bit more comfortable on the hands. Okay, 30 second rest. Ooh, upright row coming up next. Some more shoulder work. So we've got about 20 seconds more of rest. Ten more seconds of rest. Okay, so here we go. Core engaged, neutral spine. We're going to upright row that kettlebell. Keep a proud chest here, and that will also help to engage your core. Ten more seconds of rest. Of work, sorry, <laughs> for the rest. A few more seconds, let's do one more rep. And rest. Next up, we've got the wood chop. Again, we're gonna start left side, so left to right. Slight twist in the spine, but we're gonna keep the core engaged. We're not gonna hunch over at all either. We'll try and keep straight spine, just a twist. Work our core and our obliques. And it works the arms too, as well, raising it up. Okay, so ready to go. Wood chop left to right. Let's go. I first started these seated kettlebell workouts when I'd sprained my ankle. And I still wanted to work my upper body from home using just a kettlebell. So these are great if you've got limited lower body mobility or if you're working through a lower body injury. But also if you just want to do an upper body workout, it's great too. Okay, take a rest. Almost done, just a few more exercises. So we've got wood chop right to left this time. About 20 seconds more rest. Grab a sip of water if you need. And then after that, it's just two more exercises and then we're done. Okay, so a few more seconds of rest. Grab your kettlebell. Let's get going. So wood chop left to right. Core is engaged. Neutral spine. And then we're just going to twist the torso as we bring kettlebell up. <sighs> Starting to burn now. Got a few more seconds of work. Let's do one more rep. <sighs> Take a rest. Oh, tough one that. Two more exercises. We've got a front raise coming up next. So again, keep the arms straight. We're going to keep a neutral spine. Engage the core, and then we just raise the kettlebell up to about chest height, and then slowly lower back down. Five seconds, let's get ready to go. Okay, let's go. Raising it up, slowly lowering down. Really tough exercise. Really good for, for building the uh, front delts. Slowly low down. 10 seconds, let's go. Okay, one more. And rest. Oh, tough. Tough exercise, that one. We've got one more exercise, and then we're done with this workout. So about 15 seconds of rest, and we'll finish up with curl to press. 10 seconds, let's do this together. Stay with me. Get ready, just a few more seconds. Ooh. Okay, core engaged. Flex at the elbows, and then drive the kettlebell above the head. 
Nice and strong. Keep going, just got 15 more seconds. And then we're done with this workout. 10 seconds, let's go, come on. Five more seconds, let's do one more rep. And slowly lower down that last bit. Slowly lower and rest. Well done, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this, then please like the video, drop the comment, let me know how you got on with it. Um, subscribe to my channel, all that stuff. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you on the next workout. Thank you.